This is a Global Hope CVC dressing change video. The first thing you want to do when you're going to change the dressing on a central line is gather your supplies. You'll want a clear adhesive dressing, CHG swabs, sterile gauze, enough masks for anyone who will be within three feet of the patient and the patient themselves, and two pairs of sterile gloves. You'll also want to have hand sanitizer nearby for hand hygiene. So the first thing you want to do is put a mask on yourself, the person assisting you, and the patient, and anyone else within three feet. Once you have put your mask on, perform hand hygiene. Don your sterile gloves. You want to open the sterile gloves without touching the inside. Pick up the glove. You can touch the cuff part that's folded over to help you put it on, but just don't touch the part that's going to be exposed to the outside. Pick up your other glove. Put it on the same way. You are now sterile. You don't want to touch anything that's not sterile or you will break sterile field and you will need to start over. One of the most important things we can do is keep yourself sterile while you're doing a dressing change to prevent infection to the central line. First, you'll want to remove the old dressing. So with your sterile gloves, remove the clear adhesive dressing from the patient's central line. Slowly pull it up by the edges. Get it loosened on all the sides. Notice how we're holding a finger in the center to secure the line just in case it's not sutured. Once you have it lifted on all the edges, you can remove the dressing. After you've removed the old dressing, remove your gloves and perform hand hygiene. Don a new set of sterile gloves in the same way you did the first, making sure that when you open the package, you don't touch the inside. gloves on, grab it by the cuff that's folded over, it's okay if you can't get your fingers all the way in, once you have both gloves on and both hands are sterile, you can use your hands to adjust the gloves. Now that you're sterile again, have your second person that's helping you open the chlorhexidine swabs or whatever materials you have that has CHG and grab one of them without touching the outside of the package. That's how you're going to remain sterile. The contents of the inside of the package are sterile, so it's okay for you to grab the swab. Then you're going to use each swab and scrub for 10 seconds. You don't have to do it in a circular motion with CHG. You just want to scrub really well from the center out. Discard the swab and use the next swab for 10 seconds as well. and the third swab for 10 seconds. Then you want to allow the site to dry for a full 30 seconds. It's very important that you allow the site to dry completely because the CHG and alcohol drying is what actually kills the bacteria. While it's drying, your second person can get the sterile gauze ready for you. It may come with several pieces of gauze in the package, but you really only need one. It's best if you only use one. Fold it over once and place it over the center of the central line. This prevents the line from getting accidentally dislodged when you're removing that dressing. 
because it prevents the dressing from sticking directly to the line. Next, you'll want to take your barrier spray and spray it around the side of the central line, making sure that you don't get it directly on the central line. This is just to protect the skin from the dressing and help it stick. Then have your partner open up the tegaderm dressing for you. You'll have to release the gauze from the patient and use both hands to open the tegaderm. Notice that he grabs both sides of the tegaderm and holds it straight out. If you grab only one side of the tegaderm, it might stick to itself. You want to hold it with two hands and place it over the patient's line. Leave that outside border on there until you have placed it on the patient. Once you've placed it on the patient, you can remove the border. Leaving that border on helps prevent the tegaderm from sticking to itself. It's best practice to take a marker of some sort and write the date that you've changed the dressing. It's recommended that we change dressings every seven days or as needed if they get wet if they start lifting or become soiled for any other reason. It's important that you check your dressing each time you access the line or use the line for anything to make sure it's clean, dry, and intact. Keeping that site clean, dry, with a secure dressing is one of the best things we can do to prevent that line from getting infected.